Oh. Alrighty guys, good morning. After a couple months of not filming any fishing videos, we are back this morning. We're going offshore in the kayaks. I got my buddy Chris from Hookcraft. You guys are familiar with him already, but if you're not, go subscribe to his channel. It's a beautiful day out here in Navarre Beach, guys. Sun's coming up, glass flat conditions. We're looking at pretty much no wind all day long. Snapper is closed today. It's Monday. It's only open on the weekends this time of year. Uh, so we're just gonna go get some bait and head on out there and see what we can do. Here's some. Ooh, we've got three of them on there. It's a nice little bait right there. Get in my bucket, boy. Dang. Man, now we're getting into them. Here we go. All right, we got all the bait that we need. So I tied up a stinger rig on one of my rods. We're gonna troll them out to the reefs. See if we can pick something up along the way and then we're gonna do a little bit of bottom fishing. All right, we just got out to the reefs, nothing on the troll. So I'm just gonna leave that out and let him just kind of free line and do his thing and hopefully he'll get hit. And meanwhile, I'm gonna grab the other rod that I have set up for bottom fishing and we're gonna do a little bit of that. So I'm gonna be using 60 pound fluoro. Usually I go like 40 or maybe even a little bit lighter, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna get into some good snapper today. So we're gonna go with the 60, get a nice circle hook on there, Mustad Ultra Point. Swivel, I've got 40 pound braid on this rod, and then we're gonna be fishing with a uh, pen 5,000 size combo, nothing too special. I think I've got like three ounces of weight on this one. Get out one of our beautiful little cigar minnows here and these are actually some pretty good size ones so hopefully we can get a pretty good size snapper to go with our good size baits I'm gonna run that right through his tail just like that send him on down yep we're on oh that's a good fish hey that's a this is a big fish this is a big fish. I don't know what this is, but it is very large. Okay. Okay, big girl. Okay. 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 Big ol' head shakes on this one. I'm like halfway like, is it the reef or is this actually a fish? But I'm feeling head shakes. It's gotta be a fish. Oh, that was a fish. It broke. Damn it. It was a big fish, bro. Damn it. Oh, that was the one. All right. I've got one last ruby red lip in my bait bucket here. So we're going to get him hooked on and send him on down, and hopefully we can get onto an amberjack. I'm pretty sure that's what that was that we were just hooked into. I think that was a good size amberjack. I just, I couldn't really do anything. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, all right, something. Well, while I was pedaling over to the next spot, something grabbed our free line. I think he's on there pretty good. Oh yeah, we got him. I don't know what this is. It's like just kind of dead weight here. Oh, there's some head shakes. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. He hit the free line. He hit the free line and he's heavy, man. I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't usually use this rod. This is kind of just my, my cheap like throwaway rod too. So I don't really know like what the fight's like on this thing. I don't know what to expect. Sure he has enough drag here. Ooh, this is heavy. Heavy fish. I think he's coming up. I don't know. It's dude, it feels weird. It's just. Oh, there we go. There he goes. Whoa. Dolphins coming in. Come on, I don't know what you are, but you need to come up. I know that much. 
I know that much. Oh God. <laughs> this is a good fish, don't get dolphin. Come on. It might be, man. I don't know. It might be an amberjack. It's heavy. Oh, man. He's right under the kayak right now. So we're just kind of fighting dead weight. Just pulling him straight up here. I just don't want him to go through my drive. I need to spin around. Get him away from my drive. I don't like that. That's how I lost my tuna last year. Thing went through the drive, went through the rudder, and broke the line off. Jeez, dude, he is still deep. I don't even have eyes on him, man. He's still just digging. He's down there. I think this is an amberjack. Oh, wait. He's... What is that? Oh, no, it's a big old snapper, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a big old red, bro. Oh, why isn't it yesterday? Why isn't it yesterday? <laughs> All right, he's leadered. Oh, yeah, it's a big red snapper, dude. Oh, work. Oh, yeah. We got him. We got him. Woo! Jesus. Perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth on that treble hook from the stinger rig. All right, I don't have a net, so we're just gonna have to have fish grabs. Gotcha. Oh man, that's a good one. That is a good one. Woo. That's a good way to start the day right there. I didn't even drop it, man. It was still in the water from trolling, just freelining. I didn't even do nothing for that fish. Yeah, just... they'll do that. I a few of them. That's a good one, man. If it was yesterday, he'd be coming home. All right, buddy. Ooh, man. He bent that treble hook open a little bit. That's a good fish right there. All right, give you guys a look at that American red snapper in the sunshine right there. These things are beautiful, man. These are one of the best eating fish in the Gulf. I would argue, I don't think they're the best. I think mangrove is better. Personally, I like pompano a little bit better. Sheep's head's real good, but these are, these are one of the best and these are definitely one of the most expensive at any restaurant here along the Gulf Coast. I mean, these things are, these things are awesome, man. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on this fish and then we're gonna send them back. <clears throat> Ooh, chill, don't you bite me. Ooh. He took the fish grips. Really? Yep. I see him, he's right there. I want my fish grips back. <laughs> he's got him in his mouth. Where's my, I gotta, where'd he go, where'd he go? Don't go down. Don't get dolphined either. I want my fish grips back, you bastard. He's right there, I see him. Let's see if I can snag him with the... No. You son of a bitch. No, he just went down. He wasn't vented, so I was hoping he would come back up. Chris is on. Hey, Chris, I'll be right there with the fish... Oh, wait. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you, did you just fight your bait, bro? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Damn it. Bro, I caught a stud red snapper on a day where I couldn't even keep it in the final whammy as that motherfucker took my goddamn fish grips with them. What kind of bullshit is that? That son of a bitch. 